Welcome to Mishnah study of the Matzechet Demai, Perek Bet Mishnah Aleph. Over here in this Mishnah, we're going to move on to speaking about fruits that we're going to listen to Mishnah that are always considered Demai. It doesn't matter where they're found. They're found in Eretz Israel. Let's say they even found Chutzlaret outside of Eretz Israel. It doesn't matter. They're always going to be considered Demai. Uh, and the question is why? We'll have to answer. So, firstly, these are things that are demai everywhere, and everywhere meaning it doesn't matter where you find them, in Eretz Israel or even outside of Eretz Israel, we're always going to assume that these came from Israel. That's the point. And what are they? So, the first one is Devila. Right, which is basically a fig, but Hanabam explains is a certain type of fig that's really, really, really sweet. That's recognizable that it came from Israel, right? So because we know where it came from, therefore we're going to say that it's from Israel and it's going to be demai. And the temarim, same thing, similarly, same idea. It's really um, plump date that again, it's only found in Israel. Right, it's a type of carob that's really, really straight. So we know it's, know it's from Israel. Or a type of rice, right? Ores, that's very white. So we know it came from Israel. Or kemon, right? Just kemun, right? That also, same idea. It's very straight. They're very similar. Each seed is you know, similar to the next. So everyone is similar to each other. And now, even ores, even if you have this rice of Anyone that uses it is patur, meaning what? Before, it doesn't matter if it was before it was Miru Hakeri or afterwards, we know that it is ores of Hutzaretz. Uh, it's impossible to uh, mistaken it for rice of Eretz Israel, and therefore anyone that uses it is going to be patur from. Demai, right? Because again, it's not from, it's not a rice that's from Eretz Israel.